Hello everybody and welcome to this video where this will be a response to a great video by Sean D. Stanfast who has been fucking honestly he's been killing it on um, book discussion videos. If you dig videos that are just like 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 if your whole booktube experience is wanting to discuss things about books or bookish type things you you need to subscribe to Sean's channel like seriously he's been killing it and like the list of response videos i want to do to his videos is getting so long that the video I just saw him post after I watched it, I'm like, okay, I, I'm tired of like making this like to do list of video responses. So I'm just going to go for it. Basically I'll link it down below. He did a video about writing or underlining in books. And if you do it and if so, why and how and the whole thing. And here is the deal for me. I was raised Okay, to treat every book like it is an artifact from history that should be in a museum. And if, you know, one of the things he was talking about in the video was like, if people come to your house and see that none of your spines are cracked, people are going to assume that you haven't read those books. Dude, my dad would read books like this. To make sure he didn't crack that spine. And he would hold him like this so he, he like wouldn't get his finger oils on the pages or anything like that. Um it's hysterical. So that's how I was kind of raised to deal with books. And because a lot of the books I've gotten over the years have been secondhand from like um, secondhand bookstores or thrift stores, every book I got was ancient to me. Like it was old. So I never did anything with them. I never wrote in them. I never did anything. In fact, me doing this now, this whole thing with, like, flags on books, that's, like, brand fucking new. Like, I've been doing that for maybe a year. But when, especially when I started getting heavy on BookTube and I was getting newer editions of books that felt more together and... Um, where I felt like I could like shake the shit out of them and they're not going to get damaged and that it wasn't like a mass market where they were like just filling the page with as many words as they can, but like trade paperbacks where they're a little more open, the line spacing's a little more wide. I just like, I think I, I hate to keep bringing this up, but I got drunk one night, shocker, and I was reading a book and I was trying to take notes in a notebook next to the book, but my book kept shutting when I would like turn to go to the notebook. So I finally just said, fuck it. And I just started writing like tons of notes in the margins of the book. And the second I did it, it was so freeing. Like it, it just felt like a giant weight was lifted off my shoulders. So then I'm like, oh shit, it's on like fucking Donkey Kong. Like I'm going ape shit on this. I started fucking like writing stuff, drawing arrows over. Instead of like underlining giant passages, I was just like putting brackets around areas of a book I wanted to go back to or things, whatever. And then at the end of chapters, I would like write down like on the chunk that was left at the end of the page I'm like this is what I learned from this chapter of this book and da -da 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 -da. and I just started going crazy and it's funny too because I think one of the reasons why this got easier for me was when I started um, spilling red wine um, on pages of the books 
And I, I'm not like a, a slob or anything, but I have a mustache, you know, so I'll take a drink of wine. And um, if I don't do the, you know, afterwards, I'll just be sitting there reading it. And then all of a sudden it's like drop, drop, like out of my stash onto the book. And I'm like, fuck. And it's red wine. So that's never fucking coming out. And then like I would try to wipe it off or something and smear it. But then I'm like, oh, my thumb now has red wine all over it. So when I turn the page, there's like a big old... Um, CSI red wine thumbprint on the next page and some of my books you know what I think this book come to think of it because I read this one page so often in this book probably won't even be able to see it yeah there's like you'll see a little bit so there's some red wine there, some red wine down there. That's probably a drip from my mustache, and that's probably my thumb. That's fucking hysterical that I just fucking called it out like that. So that's like one example of when I started spilling wine in books, I just kind of gave the fuck up, and I'm like, okay, I'm going whole hog on this. Now, I still do not write in old books. That is like a fucking no-no. If um, the book's pages are newsprint, like I'm not going to write on it. Um, like this book here, because it's a mass market and it's just like walls of text and there's not really, here's a better example. There's not really a whole lot of room to write in there. But if I were to get out, especially like since I, I just grabbed a Bukowski book, um, I think the book it was, was you get so alone at times. It just makes sense. The book of poetry. Um, I just started going whole hog on that shit and it was just like, I don't give a fuck. Some good old Harvey Weinstein's. There's some brackets, more brackets. Oh yeah, I was dog ear and pages in this and everything. Oh shit, yeah. Look, I'm fucking writing all sorts of shit. Yeah, I just kind of, I think this was the first one I started doing this in. Brackets. But here's the thing, this is an echo edition. Okay, so this is like, a redo of the book that um, Black Sparrow did, so, and I think this is Harper Collins, right? Yeah, Har Harper Collins did that. So the Echo books, I will write the fuck in. The Black Sparrow editions, I will not touch with a pen. I probably won't even read those when I've been drinking. But the Echo ones, because those aren't the originals, I don't give a shit, and I'll fucking do whatever the fuck I want in there. So. I don't know if this answered the questions or not, and I'm going to try to do another video. Um, I'll do a video of, like, the wine-stained paperbacks, where I'll, like, go through, because some of, there, there's messes in a lot of my books, so um, we'll look at that. Actually, what do you think about this? Do you write in books? And if so, why? Do you underline or do you highlight? Do you write in pencil or do you write in pen? Do you write your names in books? I don't write my names in books. Maybe I should start writing my names in books. The books I'm writing in, I don't think I'm ever going to get rid of. So, and then, like, I have this, like, insane thought that my kid will eventually find it cool to read a book that I liked and see my notes in it. Would that ever happen? I have no idea. I could barely get my kid to fucking read a goddamn electric bill, let alone fucking a book. So, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, so what do you think? Hope you enjoyed this, and until next time, everybody, I will talk to you later. Bye-bye. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon, I appreciate the hell out of you guys, and thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew or the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video, and if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.